Hi everyone, here I have another example of simplifying the block diagram systems into a single transfer function. So we have here um, two, three, four, five, six blocks, and we want to find out the resulting transfer function. So one way to start is to move G4 before the branch point here. As a result for this section, we will have G3 times G4, which will give us C output. And for the feedback, we will have 1 over G4 times H2. So I can maybe redraw it for the first system. So we have R minus G1 here plus minus G2 here. Then a feedback loop H1. Negative sign, and then here we will have G3, G4, G3, G4, G, and so we will have H4 over G4. Okay, now let's see what we can do for the next step. Uh, I think I can further move this G3, G4 to here before the new branch point. As a result here, I have I will have G2 times G3, G4 and then if it backpacks, the 1 over G3, G4 will appear. So I can again redraw this. Uh, coming from here to the plus sign to the negative sign minus then we have G2 G3 G4 small branch point 1 over G3 G4 then it will be then H1 and we already have here H2 over G4 Okay, now if we manage to move G1 in this direction, then we will have uh, two, three feedback passes in parallel with each other. We can do it. So if I start to go on it, we will have R here, plus sign. Feedback parenthesis is a negative sign coming from the signal that I will draw later. And then here we can have, we are moving G1 to, to the other side of the information point. If you have G2 here and G1, which is parallel from this G2, G3, G4, leading to C. And here we have H1 over G3, G4. Since we, G1 has appeared here after the summation point, we need to compensate its effect with this pass. So, what we need to do is to divide H2, G4 by G1. 
and as a result the new uh, the, 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 in the feedback branch that we have here we have h2 over g4 and then one over g1 movement here to compensate for the movement of the g1 in this direction now if I withdraw everything I mean, signal coming from here with the plus sign and then uh, we can combine this these two summation points with each other. The output will be multiplied by G1, G2, G3, G4, resulting the output of the system. Uh, so here I have four hands and then yeah, draw this line here. And then we will have a unity feedback with an edge sign. We will have another feedback with this transfer function. Again, with an edge sign. And we will have this feedback. So H2 over G1, G4. And that will appear with an active sign as well. And from here, you can see that these two branches are in parallel with each other, so the resulting uh, transfer function could be as the summation of the screen. For here, up here, and in the feedback pass, we will have one plus h1 over g3, g4 plus h2 over g1, g4 with the negative. So if I define this transfer function as t, and this transfer function as G, the overall transfer function between R and C could be given as G over 1 plus G times T. Uh, T could be obtained as this transfer function here. So C, 2, G, 4, G, 1. And here we have G1, G3, G4 plus H1 times G1 plus H2 times H3. And if we replace it here, and instead of G, we have G1, G3, G3, G3 G4, we can find out the C over R and G1. G2, 
five, G one, G three, G four, G two, G three. So this will be the overall transfer function. The variable of their RAM system provided for, for us is the example that we have here. Uh, okay, so that's all for this video. I think you have, uh, I hope you have found it useful in learning how to simplify the transfer, the block diagram system into a single transfer function. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.